Well, Aldershot finished last season 21 points above Barnet, but right now the Bees are six points above the shots. Neither will be happy with their starts to the season overall. <laughs> Certainly points, confidence and consistency have been in short supply, particularly for the shots. You only have a points deducted Dover below them. Barnett have at least seen a positive reaction to Harry Kuehl's departure. Chance for the Bees to get forward here with Flanagan. Fongut got involved, and that was a nice return ball as well to Beards. Best move of the game so far, and they get a corner out of it. And Jolie with the ball wide here. And Kinsella will look to try and keep it in. He did superbly, and the header isn't too far wide at all. Mason Clark. That's a good save there. Well kept out by Laurie Walker. The most significant stop that he's needed to make. The man making his debut. Good drive forward by Mason Clark. It's a good opportunity, good chance there. Just uses his strength there to. Push off Lyons Foster. I just think maybe, maybe thought it's going to take a small deflection. But hasn't kept a single clean sheet, which is obviously an issue, a big one. Fonguk looking to try and bend what. Four in the box for the shots, and you'll notice Edson and Wagstaff on the edge of the area, but uh, a bit of a waste in the end, that wasn't it? One back here by Wagstaff, and Edson will drive on here for the shots, and he'll hit it, and it's been pushed out. And what a goal-saving challenge that was. Well, the initial save from the goalkeeper was a good one, but he still needed helping out there. It's a brilliant driving run there from Edson, but I have to say that Sam Beard reacted really, really well. It means nothing if you don't win these games after. Mason Clark, who's got Marriott in the middle, pulled it back brilliantly, but it was just a heavy touch, wasn't it? They're trying to win it back here as Taylor puts one in. And it wasn't too far wide there. Maybe question marks over the shots defending, but Barnett go close. It's a great little cut back there. I think Flanagan, I thought he was going to take it first time. And the extra touch allowed Jordan to make the challenge. Rundle detailed to keep an eye on Edsa, and he lost him, and Edsa got the shot in. <laughs> slip by Mason Clark, well, there's a slip from Kinsella as well, this is Taylor. Brundle. Searching ball into the box, and Fongert was arriving, and they've kept it going! Flanagan with the finish from close range. One older shot were down to ten there because of the injury to Torre. Barnett perhaps have made the most of that and find themselves in front of the hive. And I would say it's a goal against the run of play, but I have to say the awareness of Adam Marriott, the 14, is absolutely exceptional because he just doesn't give up on this. Look at this. To put that back into a danger area for someone to go and attack it. And it was Flanagan that read it really, really well. It's a bit of a lazy clearance, though, for Moxley Chamberlain. For all the good that all the shot have done, they've gone and really shot themselves in the foot by conceding a poor goal. But Adam Marriott, really well done there to keep that one alive, put it back into a danger area for Flanagan to get himself a goal. Playing well so far today and towards Marriott. Keep it down. It was a lovely ball in to find him there. Well, I think it's been pointed out to the referee that that might be out of the quadrant. That's twice he's been able to do that now, though. Set up to be hit, but it was always a difficult one to keep down for Mason Clark while he was at Palace, never broke into the first team under Roy Hodgson, and it's only now at the age of 22 that he's playing men's football, if you like, and that's maybe a problem of the system as Brundle plays it in, and the header finds the back of the net, but the offside flag goes up and it won't count.
from Mason Clark. We'll have a see, we'll have a look at how tight that was. It was a really well taken header from Mason Clark. You can see he's looking down the line. Oh, he's on, isn't he? I think he is. I mean, the lines he's in a decent position there to see that he's in line. Brilliant ball in there for Mitch Brundle. It's a really well taken header. But the offside flag has denied him a goal. Well, plenty of talking for that man to do at half time. Mark Molesley's side find themselves a goal down at the break. Dean Brennan's side given the lead by Keen Flanagan. Well, Barnett nowhere near where they would have hoped to be at this point of the season, but they have at least made some year on year progress. The Bees four points better off compared to the same stage of the previous campaign. It's gone the other way for Aldershot, they're five points worse off. And they're going to have to certainly start the second half, Adam, better the shots than they ended the first half, where it was very much Barnet on top and looked like they may well add a second. I'll say, speaking to one or two people at the football club, he's coming and ticked all the boxes, sometimes an experienced player coming into the National League. Doesn't still have that desire or attitude, but he certainly has done that really well. Oh, struggling to get it clear, and it's the debutant, thumped home by Silla. Only minutes into his first game for the club. And he's got all the shot out of the blue, you'd have to say, on terms here. Talk about an instant impact off the bench, onto the score sheet, 1-1 one, one at the high. Oh, what a strike this is from Silla. And he's not really offered anything in this second half so far, all the shot. But when you get a set play, they become absolutely vital. And they don't really do enough, do they, Barnet, to defend it for their lives? There's no real desire for someone to go and attack it. And it's Mo Betterman. You just see him there. He just gets the smallest of touches on it to keep it alive. And the substitute, the new signing, smashes it into the back of the net and gets all the shot back into this game. Kinsella. Already there's more verb, enthusiasm and confidence here. It's amazing what a goal can do. Could they get another one? And Jolie, oh, lovely ball, Edsa. Fantastic move that by the shots. They've got a corner. Kinsella to take the corner. Oh, and it's off the line. Goalkeeper got something on it there, Oxbrook. They look for all the world like that was going in. But Lyons Foster, I think a combination of him and the goalkeepers kept that out. Well, they've looked really vulnerable on set plays, Barnett, in this game. And it's Flanagan on the line, along with his goalkeeper, that has managed to keep this one out. Edson's had a chance, he had that little spin. And now this time, Lyons Foster. Flanagan played it forward first time, and Mason Clark chasing it. Needs some support. That's starting to arrive now. Shot was deflected and it's a corner. They needed that, they needed to get out, Barnett. That's a chance now for the shots to get forward. And Jolie makes his way down the left. Andrews is central and Jolie looks to try and bend one and it was deflected. And it came off Greenwich and only just over the bar. So Flanagan across to take it. Greenwich up from the back, Brundle there as well, Mason Clark on the edge of the area. They came out to Hall who hit it early and it was deflected. It's going to be another corner, bit of pressure here from Barnett. Mason Clark, be it. Hall. It's set to play, it's appealing. The kick has been given. Flanagan takes it. And Hall thought he might hit it first time! Oh! Lovely goal! Didn't need to hit it first time. When you can pick your spot like that, you can take your time. Just win the points 
the body. Well, it's a goal of real quality that should win any game of football. Just look at him on the edge of the box there. I thought he was going to take it first time, but he controls it. And it's just a short bat lift. And you mentioned, didn't get really too much power in it, but it's just a quality of precision. He strikes it across the ball and takes it away from Laurie Walker in the goal. Nothing that the goalkeeper could have done about it. What an unbelievable strike that is, and what a big strike that is for Barnett. Well, he did make one Premier League appearance for West Ham. Rob Hall, that was under Sam Allardyce way back in the 2012-13 season. I tell you what, that was a Premier League quality finish, wasn't it? It was an unbelievable Rob finish. Hall. Oh, it was a brilliant finish, Adam, really was. Glover, great stride forward. The reaction here from Aldershot has been good. And here's Wagstaff, and Andrews is in the middle, and then Jolie only just wide. What a chance for the equaliser. Their reactions say it all. Well, he should have scored, and he needs to score. What a through ball, what a midfield run there from Wagstaff, and it's a free head up. You've got time, you can even bring that down if you want to. Just gets that one horribly wrong. It's from Barnett, a lifeline, but what a miss that is for all the shot. Silla. Tastemir. That was the out ball. Mason Clark with Marriott racing into the middle. That's who he's picked out. Over the bar it went. That was the chance to end the contest. So it was always a stretching chance there from Adam Marriott. It's a great early ball in there to give him the chance. Difficult one there for him to hit the target. Forward it went from Beard. What a week it's been for Barnett. Back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season and a goal of real quality. Wins it for the Bees. Fantastic finish from the substitute, Rob Hall. His first goal for the Bees. Took it so well. It was a piece of top-flight quality from a former Premier League player. It was Flanagan who had got the opener in the first half, the man of the match on the day, a debutant for Aldershot. Silla had got the equaliser for them. But it's five defeats in a row now for the shots. They are in a rut that they just can't get out of right now. But Barnett have had quite the week. Is he going to get the job on a full-time basis? Is what a lot of their supporters will be asking. Full-time, Barnett 2, Aldershot 1. Dean Brennan certainly doing a very, very good job as he currently is interim head coach. He is, remember, the head of football here, so his position here is permanent, albeit not exactly as yet as manager. But if he keeps on doing what he's doing, then... Chairman and owner Tony Kliantos will definitely be thinking about it, that's for sure, because um, for all that Mark Molesley's team came back into that really well in the second half, it's another defeat that hurts and obviously maroons them in the bottom three, whilst Barnett under Dean Brennan, who were in a perilous position when he took the reins, have now climbed into mid-table.